Hello, my name is Melanie Armstrong and I work in the Education Data Division at the Department for Education. I'm here to talk to you about the school census. This is one of a series of videos related to the census and should be watched in conjunction with the others. This slide lists the topic areas I'll be covering in the presentation. The data collected via the school census is used to support raising standards, provides funding and assists in the monitoring and development of policy. It is expected that a well-managed school would keep information required up to date on an event-driven basis, which will ensure minimum burden on schools when the data is requested by the department. In preparation for the beginning of the academic year, you should have either received or be in the process of receiving a common transfer file for all new pupils you are expecting, and it is highly recommended that for your leavers you have or are in the process of sending the CTF to your leavers receiving schools. A CTF is used to electronically transfer pupil level information when a pupil moves from one school to another. Local authorities maintain schools have a statutory obligation to provide a receiving school with a CTF within 15 days of a pupil leaving their school. As academies do not come under this obligation, the department cannot enforce this requirement. However, we would strongly recommend that academies participate in this process. The pupil information provided via the CTF will assist academies in populating their MIS and support pupil welfare as it allows schools to keep a track of pupils moving schools and ensure that they do not go missing from education. The transfer of CTFs ensure important information such as a pupil's special educational needs are immediately available to the school. A new school can use the prior retainment history to inform their planning for the pupil's continuing education, thus allowing the school to be better able to meet the individual needs of each pupil with greater accuracy. CTFs are particularly important for children whose parents are serving with the armed forces. As these children tend to move schools more frequently, the transfer of up-to-date and relevant information via a CTF supports their ongoing education across settings. Completing statutory returns like the school census. This will include key identifiers like the pupil UPN and ULN, which are needed to match together historical census collections to drive a number of centrally derived funding allocations, for example, the pupil premium. The importance of a CTF should not assign a date of entry for a new pupil to a school. This should be assigned by the receiving school as the date that the pupil is first expected to attend. It is important that the start date is not a date during school holidays, planned closures or weekends, as it would not be possible for the pupil to have started on these dates. The date of entry is an important baseline for analysis and validation of school census returns. It will provide a clear indication of whether the pupil should be included on the census and whether key data items are missing, for example pupils' attendance data. In addition, the department will use the information for data and analysis on numerous areas such as pupil mobility and admissions. Therefore, it is important that the data entry is recorded correctly. As this slide shows, there are specific requirements that schools should ensure are followed especially if your school is a newly converted academy. The enrolment status submitted via the school census is vital to funding calculations and performance measures. Therefore, it is essential that schools ensure that the correct enrolment status has been provided. There are five types of enrolment status for pupils in the scope of the school census. Pupils with a current enrolment status are pupils who are solely registered at one school. For duly registered pupils, the school where the pupil was first registered, for example their ordinary school of attendance, will be the main registration and the subsequent school will hold the subsidiary registration. It is expected that pupils who attend a mainstream school and a pupil referral unit will be duly registered. Pupils attending a pupil referral unit would normally do so as a temporary measure before returning to the mainstream school which will hold the main registration. There are two additional enrolment statuses for pupils who are solely on the register of a pupil referral unit but spend the majority of their provision attending either an FE college or an independent alternative provision provider. There is a sixth enrolment status which will be available within your MIS and that is guest registration. This can be used by schools where a pupil is attending the school for a specific lesson or as a one-off visit. Guest registrations are defined with an enrolment status of G and will be excluded from your census return. Please refer to the school census guidance on gov.uk website for further details.
The pupil's national curriculum year group is the year group in which the pupil is taught in for the majority of the time, regardless of their age. It is important that schools promote each pupil's year group to the year group which they will be taught in during the current academic year. This will ensure that funding is targeted accurately. This slide provides links which you may require before and during the collection. More information about how to submit your census data to us, including details about what data is collected for each term we census, can be found on the school census page. Please take some time to read these documents as they help you to fulfil your statutory requirements and successfully complete an accurate census return. In addition to the online documents, we also provide a data collection forum. The purpose of the forum is to provide a facility to allow customers to exchange ideas and good practice relating to specific data collections and related EDD systems. To gain access to this forum, please complete a service request form. The Data Collection Help Desk issues regular email bulletins before and during the data collection period. These bulletins provide important messages to help schools make a successful school census return and so please ensure you read the information carefully. I do hope you found this presentation helpful. Thank you.